Hi there, this is Dawn, and today I want to show you my balls. I love these things. I thought I would love them, and then I actually love them more than I thought I would. They are definitely better than expected. And when you, I mean, you just get one, right? But then I had to get more. And when you get more, then you can do stuff like this. And moving one will move the other and see how they're all going in different directions. Just as long as they're touching, they just have to. And because they're a globe. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Trying to get everyone to move. There is a slight sound you can hear as it turns. But it's just so mesmerizing, isn't it? All right, so you can go in any direction that you want. And I found that when it comes up, it kind of makes me more anxious. I like it going down more. And then I like it, there's a certain speed, like right there. This one, that's like the perfect speed. So I'll sit there and just fiddle, just like what I'm doing right now, just fiddle with these. And it's just so mesmerizing, and it's calming, and it's relaxing, and, and I just, I don't know, I just love them. <laughs> Alright, so um, we have different colors. All of these are made by the same company. We got different colors and different sizes and uh, design, I suppose. You have these large ones, and they have... a. Um, the metal silver swirl to them. This is really addicting doing it like this too, not just giving it a spin, but actually like going with it and watching as your fingers making these swirls go. Oh, I just love this. Okay, uh, so you got the big ones and then you got the little ones. You got grays, um, pink. This is a kind of purpley, silvery blue, um, a teal, an aquamarine color. I know I'm kind of nitpicking between different shades of blue right here. Oh, I think I can make a little Mickey Mouse. All right, so what is this? Here's the base. This centerpiece can actually come out, but I don't know how to get it out. And then there's little ball bearings inside. This whole thing is metal. And uh, it is not, I don't believe it's magnetic. Nope, it's not magnetic anywhere. Um, this has, a one about a one and a half inch base and these little guys have a one and one eighth inch base and this base has a little rubbery grip to it and they came these guys came in this really nice little um, plastic clear plastic box re really nicely packaged these little ones and then they had a little sticker thing that was almost like it was a velcro uh, the other p end of this like a little velcro or it's just a little rubber i didn't play around with that little sticker but i guess you can stick it to one place i i didn't use it because i can't have this in one place now you can also oops roll them around oops like a regular ball Kind of. They do wonky things. They want to do wonky things when you do that. But <laughs> that is a thing. I mean, you can do all sorts of things with these. What? What is it? What's the use of it? I don't know. There's probably no use, but it is relaxing. It is really cool. And they're pretty and... It, 
maybe a paperweight. I actually wanted to get some paperweights, but I couldn't figure out. And these are heavy enough to be paperweights. So let me get you some weights over here. Let's see. This one is 183 grams. And the little ones are 75 grams. That's the difference in size. Which one, I, I would say get the bigger one, but I don't know. You might want the little ones too. As you can see, I couldn't decide which was my favorite. And that's why I have this nice little collection here. Um, this is about uh, maybe one and a half, a little over one and a half inches tall. This one is maybe one and one and a quarter inches tall. So size is not going to be an issue. I mean, these can store anywhere, right? Store, and they're just, I don't know, they're just amazing. I really, really love these. I think they are really well made. The quality is excellent. Even watching that is kind of mesmerizing. <laughs> okay, so the base moves, but then you got this rim around it. So can you put it on your hand and make it spin? You can, but only if you can make it so that only that little, that base is not touch, uh, I mean, the rim is not touching the hand. You can't have this rim be touching anything because it's only, it's only that center part that spins. Can you see that? So if you go like this with your hand cupped, it's touching, it won't spin. You've got to find a spot on your hand. There you go. Now there is a little whirling sound. Oh look, I can stop it from moving. So I don't know, what do you think? Do you like the bigger one better? Do you like the smaller ones better? Let's spin this black one. Do you like having this contrast, this dramatic contrast with the white? Or do you prefer this more um, muted or uh, what's it called? When it's not so prominent, um, subtle. This very subtle swirl. Do you like the subtle swirl? But which color is your favorite? I don't know. So many questions. I can't even decide. I honestly can't decide if I like this. Because a subtle one, it is kind of subtle, but it almost looks like this is growing as it comes down, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know. It does funny things to my brain. And I love them all. So there you go. Hope that helps. I hope you get one. Um, if you like these type of things. I, I am finding that I am addicted to these um, steel machined um, exact precision fidgety type. There's one that I saw that I haven't gotten yet. I may not ever get. But it has like little gears on it. And you hold the ends. And then it's you can make it spin while you're holding it. And it can spin in all different directions. And so, Oh my goodness. Like I'm really attracted to those type of things. To these type of things. So there you go. Um, I totally recommend them. In whatever size and color that you like, they are all wonderful. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.